Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dishonored. I've been having webcam problems more than uh, usual, so... Yeah, check that out. I had to start and restart this episode like ten times. It was less, but... One of my favorite parts? Yes. You literally passed this guy this letter that Trevor Pendleton gave you? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. And then he says, hey, fuck you. He's paying you well. And then he's like, pistols at dawn. Except, you know, not at dawn now. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up and let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. So normally they give you one, but they actually will note if you already have one. Anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get on him. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Yeah, like, I, I still, I wish that dueling people was, like, still doable. But the thing is, is that now... Stop. Stand right there. Like, bullets and guns are so deadly. Two. One. Yeah, guns and bullets are so deadly that, like, it is really, really, like... Likely impossible. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boil I love that they just take it in stride. Yeah, bullets and, and um, guns are now so dangerous and deadly. Like, the penetration of the average bullet is, like, so high that, like, back in the day, you really could just shoot a guy and he could walk it off, you know? There was a group of women who had a, a dueling club. Or no, I'm, I'm thinking of something else. This appears to be a shark with, like, either whiskers or barbels like a catfish. Or a really big catfish. Oh, makes me want some seared steak. I have some steak in the fridge. It's not fish, though. Then what are you? A rabbit? Yeah, that's a rabbit. They left the fur on the face and feet, though. Kind of creepy. Um, yeah, there's this there's this painting that I love of like um, the ox rose we had last week. Uh, like three uh, uh, three women, and they have stripped to the waist at the recommendation of their doctor because. Um, sorry, I want to check my phone. Okay. Um, because the, re the reason that back in the day you had to get the bullet out, you know, you've, you've seen a scene like that in a movie somewhere, I'm sure. Where somebody has to dig the bullet out of a wound. The thing is, is that the bullet was never actually dangerous, even though it was made of lead. The problem was that everyone would sweat into their shirts and then that sweat would go into your clothes. And uh, that was a problem because it, would, it meant that you got really icky. Okay, so we have this. Whale oil closet. So if I can find where that key is, then I can do that. Oh, well, here's one of them. Was that her? Stand clear. Oh. Oh, no, please. I am in need of assistance. Stand clear. Help. 
Let me get through here. Is it you? Let's do one of these. I love when he grabs their hand. I love grappling. I just adore grappling. All right, cool. Yeah. If somebody's going to do a Kansas City shuffle on you. I hear the whole second floor is off limits tonight. Hmm. Too many guests walking off. Hello, gentlemen. I hope you're not lost, sir. You'll Welcome to the boil estate. Yeah, somebody's going to do a cup and ball game on you. There's a lot of things that you can do to make sure that you don't need to worry about it. Oh, they call it witchcraft, but they don't actually care that I'm doing it. That's kind of interesting. Tall boy. Okay. So normally you do that with a whole bunch of like stealth and like maybe some stealth kills. None of this would have gotten so bad if that down. <laughs> Nothing personal. Yeah, normally you do that with some stealth kills and stuff like that. Kind of hoping that uh, the spring razors would have killed more people, but you know, dare to dream. My camera's still recording, right? Okay, cool. I had it when my dulcet, uh, uh, dulcet. It's a good word I'm looking for here, because dulcet is usually used for my beautiful voice, which is true. I was, guess I was just trying to think of a synonym. You know, it's not that I don't care, but I kind of love the idea of just, like, focusing in on, um... Like, the powers that I know that I like. And, like, possession uh, opens up a lot of stealth options for you, and a lot of fight avoidance as well. The thing is, is that I don't really care about that because I actually want combat. They got me. That's okay. I think I might be missing that charm, but I don't actually mind that much. Oh yeah, I've not talked about this. This speaks with the same voice actress of the Empress, and it appears to just be like her heart clumsily stitched open. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Yeah, I think because we've um like done crazy crazy murder and a whole bunch of people died and stuff uh
because of that, like we uh we're we're in big trouble, so we gotta get the hell out of there. Oh, that mission's a high point. And I did it in like ten minutes. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked a wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Hmm. Hey, yeah, I think he normally meets us here and he's like, hey, thanks for killing everyone for me. Or killing Lord Shaw for me, because uh, screw that guy. I trust you enjoy. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. In a quarantine district. All systems must be Hmm. Odd sounds and signs of conflict originating from evacuated buildings. The whalers are so cool, I kind of wish that there was more about them. You play as Dowd in the uh, DLC. And everyone has every every um character in Okay, this is a spoiler technically. But in Dishonored 2, you can play as Emily, and she's gained powers the same way that Corvo has. And Emily's powers, Dowd's powers, and Corvo's powers are all completely different, distinct from each other. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and add some risk to yourself. I really love that I shoot that guy and they're like, oh, what do you do? I think we commented on this in the original LP, but like, when, when the guy you are paid to protect says, no, hold on, let me do this, though, and then, you know, you kill him clean, like, what do you do? I wonder, if I didn't have, if I wasn't Corvo, would he have been, would he have been killed? You know, if I wasn't Corvo... Would he have just survived? Faster. Double attack for adrenaline kills. Ooh, that's good. I kind of want to get Ben time level two. Because time stop is just so clean. Ah, let's go for it. Attention. You are required to cooperate with overseers as you would members of the city watch and elite guard. They speak with the hey, Sammy. Of the Pendleton's here someplace. Because you start in an area called Coleridge Prison and his name is Samuel, I think his name is Samuel Coleridge, but that's just a author. I think it's a I think he's an American author. Samuel Taylor Coleridge? Is that who I'm thinking of? Hey, it's that song from the trailer. Hey guys. Well, anyway. Hello, love. Yeah, the overseer. Hello. Do you need me to build something for you? So part of this is because, like, all these guys are meant to be, like, morally gray and stuff. And part of it is because, like, they're, like, just dicks. Uh, but the thing is, is, oh, I guess if I had upgraded this, I could have gotten more with that. Well, anyway. Yeah, I guess. I can just start leaving spring racers around now. And like the game is too short at this point, we will um, have to kill all of the people in charge, which is something that I, I talked about in an earlier episode. I think two episodes ago, I talked about how like the the thing is is that like when you assassinate everyone in a hierarchy. You kind of need your own guys to move in and replace them so that you don't fall into anarchy. And then we kill those guys, and then we kill our, our replacements because screw them. Uh, but yeah. 
is killing the Lord Regent. Built himself quite up. So the, the Lord Regent's so Lady Boyle's um non lethal takedown is like really, really scary and kind of cool and just like Ugh. Because like how worth it to you is is it to not kill someone, right? Like Ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. If not, well, God, like, to serve with you. To that isn't a lie, by the way. The Lord Regent will die one way or another. Um Sorry, I'm thinking here. Yeah, Lady Boyle's, like, kill is super scary because it's like, what what is it worth it to you to not kill these people? Is it really so good to throw a man into slavery for presumably the rest of his life? His shortened, shortened life because he's going to be working as a slave? And he can't tell anyone about what happened because his tongue was cut out? Now, granted, you didn't do that. But somebody did. You said go ahead. And... Whether or not that's what you wanted, you said, deal with this problem for me, and they did. And again, with, you know, Lady Boyle, like... Yeah. How worth it to you is, is not killing someone. Oh, come on. Is it really going to be that worth it to, you know, leave this person alive as, you know, a basement woman? Like, that's super scary. That's a terrifying thing to have to happen to somebody. Like, that is one of those, like, modern, specific horror things of, like, clock tower sniper rifle, you know? Gotta do it quicker. Whatevs. Sorry, everyone, I just said whatevs. Unwaver... Unnerving target. They'll miss me with guns. Uh, this one's pretty raw, I will say. This, like, kill but not a kill. It's pretty raw. Uh, you can, you know, make to his study and slit his throat. And they're commenting now that he, like, has a giant window that he looks out on, so we could also use Wind Blast and kick him over the edge. Wait, what? Oh, this. Well, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, so we could just go in, shoot him, slit his throat, you know, kick him over the edge, whatever. Kind of them. I feel like that's happened to me before. Sorry, just wanted to check everything there. Yeah, because I want these things. Um, trying to think about things happening. Uh, the non-lethal kill for this guy is pretty raw. Sammy comments that uh, uh, 
that the things that make the, uh... <laughs> the, the, like, automated voice comes from here. And because he is, you know, something of a theocratic nut... We can, you know, use that against him. He's made confessions and he's made them on little microfishes or on like radios or they're like punch cards actually. They look like punch cards. Go, my brethren. Come on, fall, fail. I'll just make some more. There we go. Uh, what am I saying? Right. So he's made, you know, confessions. He's made them to, you know, a recording. So if we want, we can, uh, just take his, uh, confession and feed it into the intercom. And then I think he either throws himself off of the tower or he shoots himself in the head. I forget which. And that's pretty raw, you know, to make a confession and then... To get it directly used against you. To engineer somebody's public confession that way. The thing is, is that I actually think that's kind of awesome. was killed by that wretched murderer. Everything changed for the worse after that day. It was a dark day for sure. Oh no! Please help me! God, I'm just burning with with fury and lust for battle. Is this active? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, all right. Empty whale oil. Full whale oil. Rats. That's dishonored right there, baby. Damn, I missed one. Hmm. So I only slept for like four hours. This isn't a flex. Um, I've just been having real bad insomnia. I only slept for like four hours. Uh, and then I've been awake for 12 now, so I'm getting pretty sleepy. And one thing that you'll often notice when uh, you're looking at the development of a game. And if the plague were to take the entire city, or flames consume it, Dunwall Tower would be the last to fall. One thing you'll notice about game development is that, like, 
Levels are hard to make, and so if the, if they can reuse a level, they will. Like, this is why the middle part of Halo is kind of really crappy. And then the last third of Halo is the first half of Halo backwards. They literally just... Gnarly. Oh, but the rats are on him. Good boys. How are we looking here? Get more vitality. More health regen, that might be cool. Let's keep our movement options. I love how much we have to do before we're even at Dunwall Tower. There you go. Hmm. Come on. Just need to get over there. Sorry, I'm focusing in so hardcore that I'm forgetting to speak. I really want to rewire this just because, like, I haven't done it yet for this. There we go. Whoa. This is awesome. God, the tall boys are really cool. Like, their design is so cool. The fact that they have, like, this little moving platform that they're on. It's just great. What a kick-ass enemy. And they're so hard to kill. All right, I saw this in a video. Let's see if I can't pull it off. What is going on down there, General? There are no reports of any disturbances, Lord Regent. I don't care. Double the guards anyway. Triple them. Make sure everyone is doing what needs to be done. Yep, all right. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. Come on, come on. Fight the outsider. Assassin, help! Fire it! Stand clear! Clear the line! Hey, that's a stock, like, sound effect. Ooh. That has to be something scary to see. 
Just someone isn't next to you and then they are. Actually, why don't we hit him with one of those? Guards, to me. It's just the wind. Oh yeah, another thing. The idea of like... Corvo being wind and then like the bad things being passed off as wind. That's cool. I like that. All right. I kind of want to just like straight shot all the way up there. Man. This thing that increases the speed is really fast. I mean, I know by the nature, but... So basically, if we sneak up all the way up into his uh, bedroom and get his uh, diary, we can then put it into the central broadcast chamber. Broadcast control station, rather. Yeah. Um, and then uh, broadcast his diary to everyone, and then he'll be like, Oh god, I killed the Empress. Did I do the right thing? And then everyone would be like, oh my god, he killed the Empress. And then I think he just takes care of himself. Uh, which is interesting, because he's one of the only people in this game that can actually die then. Because it's possible to make it so nobody dies. I mean, people will, like, die, but, like, eventually. Like, presumably... The death uh, that, like, is awaiting what's-her-name. Uh, the death awaiting Lady Boyle, if you don't kill her. Is, like, a death of, like, exhaustion or old age or something. I don't want to be graphic here, but, like, you know... Yeah, let's upgrade rats. Wait, can I? I totally can. That's awesome. I didn't know that Wind Blast could do that. That's the thing, because it's so expensive that you don't want to, like, fight with it. Because, like, what can Wind Blast do that, you know, a couple of bullets can't? The answer is not much. Um, and it's not too, too useful for opening a lot of doors because sometimes, like, the answer is not, uh, you know, smash down the door. The answer is sometimes just go around and then hit it with your sword. But, like, if you don't have a sword, I guess that that's fine. I wonder if that counts as ghost. I really don't think so, because I did totally get seen. Like, I think for Ghost, you need to not be seen at all. What was that? I need more men. Alright, anyone else? Who is next on my list? Assassin, help! I'll reach sight from your mom. That ain't good. Yeah, this is actually uh, a lot of reused area from the very first level, which is actually pretty cool. Because um, sometimes, you know, reusing assets just looks cheap. Like, uh, uh, the stuff I mentioned with, like, Halo Combat Evolved is, like, so transparent. Like, we ran out of money and we needed more levels. So, 
Here's the first level backwards with uh, some enemies in it in a different way. Different style of enemies. You know, that sort of thing. I think the staircase is the only thing new. I don't think you should be able to blade lock with somebody in frozen time. A lot of the things in this game that are like cool styling is just primarily uh, like actually just men uh, uh, mana expensive I've noticed. Like that was one thing that I noticed is that like it's not that I wasn't stylish or that I was unwilling to be stylish. It was more that I was just unwilling to spend so much mana on something when I was like uh, playing this originally. Yeah, just having a tall boy in this room is making it pretty difficult for me. I want to be able to shoot their tank and blow that up. This might help, right? Oh, man, that ain't good. Ooh, that's really not good. Okay, well next time I'll be a little smarter about uh, my time stops. <laughs> 